next up we got MLB players caught cheating. Now, shout out to Hitflix. You know what I'm saying? It's the first time of this, uh, first time reaction of this channel. Now, we already know who Flix is. You know what I mean? Now, he has multiple channels. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to them. If y'all want more MLB videos from Hitflix, hit that like button and subscribe button. Legends, I've Sketchy over. things, rigged baseballs, illegal iPhones, custom bats that give superpowers. There's seven ways that MLB players were caught cheating. And the first of the cheaters is Aaron Judge, because he was Anthony caught doing Judge? something illegal with his eyes. He stepped up to the plate, sneaked a peek at the dugout, then on the very next pitch, did this. Damn. Deep drive, center field. There it goes. And that home that run became one of the biggest controversies of the season when announcers claimed he was cheating. Watch what he's looking at. Yeah. What is that? Where is he looking? Where is he looking? And he did and it more than down once. Down. See, they felt like Judge was sign stealing by having someone watch what pitches the other team was calling, then telling the Yankees dugout so they could throw signals to him about what was coming next. I mean, oh. even the other team's manager was suspicious. Seemed odd that his point of focus would leave the pitcher right before the pitch came. But uh, nobody cared about what that dude said, and nothing ever came of it, so Judge used the situation to troll everybody. The next time he got a hit, he taunted with a celebration where he covered his eyes so he couldn't see, just to let everybody know he didn't need to cheat to smack him. He's hilarious for that. But he's just lucky he got away with this cheating scandal punishment free. Cause other players in this video weren't so lucky. Cheating's gotten players fined millions of dollars, banned from being in MLB video games, and even gotten them clowned on live TV. Barry Bonds, any final thoughts? Is your legacy tarnished? No, it's not, Dan. They know Barry Bonds comes to play. And what after he plays, he has sex on a pile of money. But before we get to those, <laughs> let's talk fuck? about Max Scherzer. Cause how he was caught cheating had him risking his kids' lives. When he came into a game that started with umpires doing the usual, checking pitchers gloves and hands for anything suspicious. For some reason, Max had something sticky on him, so they forced him to go wash up and change gloves, then let him come back into the game, but Max tried sneaking it in again. Came back out there after the third, you know, with alcohol, you know, I washed it with alcohol and rosin, and when I went back out there, you know, the alcohol for a little bit there can be sticky if in rosin, it, that can happen. So he was like, that's too sticky, you need to go back on there, wash it off again, and reapply uh, the rosin. And so I did that, and then at the same time, he thought my glove had too much rosin on it, and I was like, okay, if that's a problem. Right there, the umps knew it wasn't a coincidence. Max was trying to cheat. I mean, they'd seen the same thing on Michael Pineda, Brian Mattis, uh, even Will Smith. The umps claimed that Max was using one of the same things they did, either pine tar or spider tack, that gave him more grip on balls. So it's pretty obvious that's not allowed in games, but despite being caught sticky handed, Max claimed he was innocent anyways. This is sweat and rosin, sweat and rosin. I keep saying it over and over <laughs> and they touch my hand, they say it's sticky. And I like, yes, it is because it's sweat and rosin. And they say it's too sticky. It's not. And it, it, he threw me out because of that. And I said, I swear on my kid's life, I'm not using anything else. Now, even though he my swore kid's on his life. kid's lives that he wasn't cheating, the MLB didn't believe him. They just announced that for... T White bag is filled with rosin power, which can be is a sticky substance derived from a sap of fair trees. that helps pitchers combat sweat and moisture to get a firm grip on the baseball. Okay. Okay. Ten games, Max was suspended. Damn. Damn. No wonder why dude eventually got traded too. But at least I could believe a player brought a sticky glove onto a field though. Rodolfo Castro was caught cheating with something I can't even believe made its way into a baseball game. His scandal began on this play. Fastball swung on, poked over short, dumped into center field, base hit. Castro sees it, gonna head to third, and he'll get in there. He fast as hell, what the fuck? On the pond, two out Whoa! Did he just run three bases in 3.2 seconds? Fuck is this flash? Castro sees it, gonna head to third, and he'll get How in there. How do you get the third dead fast? The pond, two out for Greg Hell Allen. no, Whose bro. Phone? Oh, wow. Whose phone is that? Please tell me. There's no way he had what a cell phone in his pocket. Rodolfo Castro is apparently bro, playing, playing with his bro. phone. Hey, you take it. Uh, stop yeah. Playing, Rodolfo was caught sliding into a base after he must have been sliding in DMs. At least it was an <laughs> iPhone and not an Android, though. Regardless, the MLB has a strict policy what about fuck? either. What the hell, bro? You you know how much of a person you have to be not locked in to do some shit like this? Like, bro, this is shit you see in like Little League. You know what I'm saying? Or or like a badass scene. Like, just for just for the click the clear context, bro. For me personally, I had like I, I played baseball. You know what I'm saying. I used to play um, 
for a team in the hood. All right. Now I didn't play for that many teams in the hood, um, but I did play for this specific baseball team that was in the hood. Um, and bro, shit, niggas was bad. You know what I mean? I mean, what you expect, bro? Now, this is some shit you will see them do then, like you know what I mean? Having phones in their pocket and shit like that. You know what I mean? When it's a badass team, they, we was good though. I ain't gonna lie, we was good, but we was just. It was just bad. I wouldn't. I wasn't bad, but they was bad. You know, but I'm around it, so you know what I mean. So you would think that that's what that they be doing that shit. Not in the MLB, like what? Or be somebody who don't play. Somebody who don't play and they got a phone. They, oh, 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 go to bat. Oh my shit. Oh, okay, okay. Bye, bro. Or I'm a designated runner. Oh my god. Okay, okay. At least it was an iPhone and not an Android, though. Regardless, the what MLB the has hell? a strict policy about either one. The rules state that players are not allowed to use any phones on the field or in the dugout, cause it could be used to record the other team's signs, could vibrate a player's leg during an at bat to notify him about an upcoming pitch, or last but not least, if a player accidentally whips out his hard thing and it hits another player, they could get That's injured. Enough. So when huh? Rodolfo's phone got out of pocket, he knew this would become a serious controversy. Like and of course, he claimed it was an accident. Apparently all you remembered was getting dressed, getting something to eat, taking a pregame shit, and how it never crossed his mind that he still had his phone on him. But the MLB Bro, nigga, said, yeah, okay, bud. Shit. That's some capping that shit. How do you go a whole baseball game without knowing it's a goddamn phone in your pocket? <laughs> Especially to remember, you only had two pockets on a baseball, a baseball pants it's, it's, it's back pockets you know what i'm saying so you literally will feel it bro apparently all you remembered was getting dressed getting something to eat taking a pregame shit and how it never crossed his mind that he still had his phone on him but the mlb said yeah okay bud and still made him face the consequences adolfo wasn't just suspended he got fined damn Dang. that's really had to pay two cell phone bills that month that's oh, crazy is, but a phone is nothing compared to what it sammy is. sosa used to cheat a custom bat that gave him superpowers sammy hits a high fly ball deep right center back goes merced to the wall and right looking up leaping that ball is gone for a home run leading up to the scandal that, that ruined sammy's reputation forever his career was the complete opposite. He was one of the most loved players in baseball and had an ability to hit home runs more than almost any player in the world. But the pressure to stay at the top of the game was eating at him so badly, he was willing to do whatever it took to stay a baseball god, even if he had to cheat. And one play exposed his secret. Three, two. Whoa. Oh, that's the best stuff, I ain't gonna lie. What's in the bad is really hey, I ain't gonna lie. That's low-key W Carver right there, bro. Your shit breaks, so they're not even look literally aside the bat. That's hilarious. That's actually hilarious. I ain't gonna lie. That's hilarious. What's up, big sauce? Here's like where the umps discovered game, that yeah. Sammy wasn't who everybody thought he was. Because no on the inside of his bat was a band accessory. Apparently, Sammy had someone drill into his wood and install core. <laughs> <laughs> this made the bat lighter, yo, which allowed yo. him to swing faster, have better timing, and get more power. Now, that Sammy thought he was. Because on the inside of his bat was a band accessory. Apparently, Sammy had someone drill into his wood and install core. <laughs> this made the bat lighter, which allowed him to swing faster, have better timing, and get more power. Now, obviously, playing with your wood anywhere in public is illegal, but especially on a baseball field. MLB didn't like anybody trying to manipulate the game, and they'd seen this exact situation happen before with Chris Sabo. Now, Sammy knew he was guilty when the league began testing all his bats, and he eventually admitted he had someone juice his, because he loved putting on a show for the fans, but now his record-breaking oh, performances and over 600 home runs lost all credibility, so we Dang. had to accept the punishments. Whatever punishments that they're gonna do it, uh, I accept it. But all because of that one game, Sammy became one of the most hated players and was never allowed in the Hall of Fame. But at least Dang, he was only one tough. player who was caught That's cheating not that. Though. I mean, shit, he, he actually was cheating. I would thought some of these would be kind of like um, some stuff that'd be controversial. You know what I mean? But this is blatantly cheat, blatantly cheating, bro. Blatantly. That time, because the entire Houston Astros organization cheated their way to a championship with trash cans when the Astros what? secured their first World Series win ever. The Houston Astros are world champions for the first time in franchise history. Nobody was suspicious yet, but as the years went on, how they won that championship and continued to dominate baseball only became more sketchy. 
because once their pitcher Mike Fires left the team, he literally turned into 6'9 and ratted out the entire organization by revealing their secrets. Oh, Apparently during tough. all home games, the Astros had cameras around the stadium documenting what signs any teams would throw up, then what pitches would come next. So the whole organization studied this constantly and even came up with a secret plot to help their players predict the future. During home games, a camera in center field was being used to try to see the signs the opposing catcher was giving the pitcher. Wow. The live feed from that camera was transmitted to a monitor outside the Astros dugout. One or more players would watch that feed, then bang on My a My thing about it is, though, is like, how does... Like, if, like, this is not the first time they got caught doing some shit, bro. Or this is not the first time they've been doing some crazy shit. You got to think about it. If they get caught doing this, let's think about the shit that didn't get caught with. Think about all the shit that didn't get caught with. Let's just really think about it. Just think about it. Because this look very thought out, you know what I mean, and very strategic. So it's probably some shit that's happening right now. We don't know it's happening. Now, will we ever find out? We don't know. You know what I'm saying? Now, also, too, remember, the MLB might be might be corrupted, so they might not even uh, ban something or try to uh, get somebody to uh, reveal their secrets or whatever like that. So, we might never know. You know what I mean? Now, we do know sometimes, you know what I'm saying, especially with these big these big corporations in the NFL, these, we're saying it's scripted and shit like that. It really could be scripted. Let's be honest. It really could be scripted. So, they could be doing something like this, and they won't ever... Never find out. Dugout. No one ever said One or more players would watch that feed, then bang on a trash can to signal to the batter. Bang on a trash can. And it what? obviously yeah. helped. I mean, just look. This ball's Dang, rushed to left crazy. field. Springer has just that's hit crazy. his 31st home run. That's the numbers crazy. even proved that this strategy made the Astros a better team. That year, they led the MLB in runs scored finished with the best team batting average, and their star player Jose Altuve won MVP. But if all of that wasn't bad enough, when the Astros had an opportunity to head to the World Series again, they ended the game with a buzz. With a home run that shocked the world, it turned out the only reason it even happened was because they were shocking themselves. Cameras caught Altuve trying to cover up that he was wearing a buzzer that shocked him during the at bat and let him know which pitch was a guaranteed homer. Don't take off my shirt. Oh. And when he's asked about it, no, I'm not wearing a wire. Uh, do you expect me to believe that nonsense? Then after that, he ran to the locker room to change into new clothes before his post game interview. And if he didn't make things obvious enough, his teammate was stupid enough to be seen with tape still attached to his chest that held his own buzzer on. Everybody saw this, Yo. and the MLB immediately launched an investigation to find out everything the team was doing. I mean, the Astros were caught in 4K, and because they cheated so much in the past, the league punished them by ruining their future. Suspensions, taking away draft picks, even millions of dollars in fines. I mean, Damn. the news made its way everywhere. That championship trophy, that's in Houston, is bogus. They're not champions. Now, I'm not saying the Yankees are champions or the Dodgers are champions, but y'all behinds ain't no damn champions, you cheaters. Players all around the league were disappointed. I thought Manfred's punishment was weak, giving him immunity. I mean, these guys were cheating for three years. You know, I think what people don't realize is Altuve stole an MVP from Judge in 17. Everyone knows they stole the ring from us. Wasn't a fan of the punishment. I thought that was a little weak for you know a player-driven scheme that no players you know involved got any punishments. Do you think the Astros should be stripped of their 2017 uh, championship? I, I, yeah, I just don't think it holds any value. With, with you know you, you cheated. And now my question is, if they do strip it away, what happens? Like, what exactly happens? Do they? So does the 2017? Do they just say like nobody won it? That is going like in the record books, they have to say no one run this 2017 World Series. No one won. You know what I'm saying? Like, what happens? Like, earn it. You know, that's, that's how I feel is it wasn't earned. And baseball fans even began trolling the Astros by throwing trash cans into their field. So that's I just right. hope that if you get drafted to the MLB, you don't become an Astro because now everybody thinks they're lames. But how Barry Bonds yeah, cheated wasn't Astros. just illegal in eight countries. It got him banned from being in MLB video games. Dang. Dude must have really wanted to become 100 overall because what he was doing made him one of the greatest players hey, ever. Tell me, why, tell me why, this is off topic, but tell me why I heard in, in, in NBA that they got 100 overalls in my team. 100 overalls? I thought the max was 99. 100? Now, 
I don't. I've, I've never even played my team before, but if we get on my team, which I'm, a, I, this is my first time playing my team, gonna be next to when a new 2K come out. It was a 2K25. When 2K25 come out, you gonna hop on my team. If I see, if I go against a nigga with a a hundred overall, bro. I'm deleting, I'm deleting the game, bro. Now, at first, Bonds was disappointed. Cause was when he had his nice lowest home run total in years by hitting only 34, out of nowhere, he took things to a whole new level. He hits one high. He hits it deep. Oh, they saying this is fake. He is snacking on this. For Bonds. That's way, way, way out Damn, that's gone. When I saw that, I actually thought Dude became baseball's Jesus Christ. Home runs like those had Bond set a record that nobody will ever come close to. Remember those 34 home runs that Dude hit in a year? Well, he over doubled that total by hitting 73 in a year. 73! Yeah. And during that time, he went from looking like this to looking like a goddamn superhero. But he didn't put on all that weight and grow a fat ass head because he was deep throating Spider Man burgers. What? Nah, Bonds was keeping a little secret. He'd been working with a legendary personal trainer, Yo. Greg Anderson, until he was suddenly put under an investigation for suspicions of supplying all his clients with illegal drugs. The IRS raided Greg's house and seized all documents about people he'd been working with, and one of the names on the list was Barry Bonds. It was found that he'd been prescribed something named cream, and I don't know why Bonds would take cream from another dude, but that's besides the point. Bonds <laughs> claimed the cream was just something nutritional that helped his hands with arthritis, but the MLB felt he he was just trying to cover his ass, so when the situation made its way into court, and Bonds lied, MLB felt oh, Bonds yeah. claimed the cream was just something nutritional that helped his hands with arthritis. But the MLB felt he was just trying to cover his ass, so when the situation made its way into court, and Bonds lied under oath about ever taking the cream, even though the evidence was there that he did and it was actually a performance enhancing drug, he went from being considered one of the best MLB stars to the entire world wanting him behind bars. The baseball star's trial over bars, steroids that was bars. yesterday, and he's been found guilty of at least one crime that could send him to jail instead of the Hall of Fame. Baseball's Damn. home run king walked out of court a convicted felon. <clears throat> Thank you. Now, Bond's lawyer did eventually get him off the hook with the feds, but the world wasn't going to forgive Bonds anytime soon. This is you in 1998 before allegedly taking steroids. <laughs> and this is you in 2004. That's completely natural. It's called an exercise. That doesn't explain why your head has doubled in size. Well, I got two words for you. Head exercises. Yeah, in the off season, I've been thinking real hard. Yeah, <laughs> every day I would do a crossword puzzle and then I would eat it. Even with jokes like those, Bond just kept pushing and he eventually broke one of the most legendary records ever, the most home runs in a career. After it happened though, he couldn't even enjoy the moment because reporters were just asking him sarcastic questions. Barry, if you had to pick in a fight, who do you think would win? You on steroids or steroids on steroids? Whether Bonds that's deserved crazy. this or not, no, no accomplishments were ever going to overshadow his scandal. That's, that's why even though he was one of the most legendary players ever, he wasn't allowed into the Hall of Fame and couldn't even become a character in an MLB video game. Just look. They literally created a fake player and put him in his place on the team. Like, who the hell is Reggie Stalker, man? This dude never played a single game of baseball, doesn't even exist, but got to play in Bond's spot while wearing his jersey number? Well, it was all because Bonds was labeled a cheater. But to be honest, I don't know how the MLB or its fans could have hated him so badly, because what if I told you there was a time the MLB let players cheat to try and make baseball become the most popular sport ever? And That's what I'm saying. That's literally what I'm saying, bro. Literally. They might literally enforce it so it can be something like this. Thank you. 2016. I, I know I the MLB back, was worried when they noticed that huge decline in TV ratings, viewership, and fans showing up to games. So once the narrative became baseball was dying, the league had to think fast about how to save the sport. The trillion dollar question that needed to be answered was what is the most exciting thing in baseball? Damn. Damn, that's gonna be kind of. Okay, damn, what is the most exciting thing? I guess it's a home run, but let's be honest. Still, no, still in bases is not exciting. I mean, it's, it is exciting. I, I can't even cap. Still in bases. It's probably home run, still in bases, uh, tailgate parties, then crazy mascots in that order. You know what I mean? Home runs being number one. Now, 
if you ask me how exciting is home runs on a scale of one to ten, I say like a four, five, bro. Let's be honest, bro. I mean, home runs is cool. Like a home run only cool if you hit it like how how Barry Bonds was hitting it. He was hitting it not only in the stands but like farther in the stands. That's sweet because it's like damn how I go that far. But nowadays a home run, you know what I mean? It's just like it just barely grazed the ball. You know what I'm saying? Fluke ass home run. So even home runs not even that excited, bro. Like so. And well, when they realized home runs were the solutions to their problems, they guarantee the fans would see a whole lot more of them. And that is hammered out to deep left field. Chris Davis going back. This one is gone. How they rip the other way in the right center. Wait, so how did they do that? Swing and a drive. Hit deep right center field. That ball is gone. Because during that 2017 season, MLB hit more home runs than when players were on roids. At the time, it set the record for the most home runs hit in the history of baseball with over 6,000. But the batters didn't magically get better and the pitchers didn't magically get worse. <laughs> it turned out that the league was doing something secretive behind the scenes. And it became obvious when they made a $395 million business move. The MLB bought the popular baseball company Rawlings, the exact company that supplied their balls to the league. Now the main equipment being used during games was directly being controlled by the league itself and ironically right after, when the MLB started playing with its own balls. Players hit more home runs than ever again. <laughs> this time they annihilated their old record by hitting over 6,700 in the season. And there's no way these record setting years were a coincidence cause when the MLB let its minor leagues use the new balls, even they saw a 58% increase in home runs. So eventually, an MLB star got tired of this and exposed everything do you still think the balls are juiced justin um yes hey it, it, it is what it is my problem is that it changes the game it changes the, the the core of what i think makes baseball great you know that you don't see base stolen bases anymore you don't see guys getting the runner over anymore you don't see guys going to a two-strike approach like i said bo Bichette did you know trying to put the ball in play it's just launch angle and hit the ball over the fence and i don't mind them i don't mind that because honestly the game is dictating that you know if there's so many home runs and walks and homers are how you're going to score. I mean, if you're not going to string together three, four, five, six hits in an inning anymore, then, I mean, you, you have to try to hit the long ball. So, See, I feel like they could do that. They could do that. Like, they can they can cheat. They can make the balls juice. Um, but at the same time, we still want to see regular hits, regular grounders. You know what I mean? I like, I like seeing the ball get hit in the gap. You know what I mean? Right over somebody's head. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Um... But when it's just straight home runs, that ain't cool. That ain't cool, bro. I get it. I just, uh, you know, uh, I think the, the proof is in the numbers. Yeah, you know things were real when a player risked his entire career exposing things like that. But I mean, fans was probably just mad he still couldn't hit a home run. Because having players like Aaron Judge hitting hella home runs is what got me into baseball again. So personally, I don't give a f Now that's a crazy play, but it wasn't one of the 20 craziest plays in MLB.